Oh my god, I didn't realize how nerdy I looked with my glasses. But hey guys, um, I'm randomly like vlogging. I'm going hiking by myself. I know this is going to be dangerous and it's very risky but i'm very determined to go to the spot i want to go to and i've seen people take photos of the king's table land i really want to go there and today it said that it's going to storm like severe sun thunderstorm so i'm taking a huge risk here it's just stupid don't do what i'm doing guys just have a friend with you be safe go on a really good day don't go when it's storming i've got my navigation on in the car so yeah i'm gonna go um and one thing i need to do is actually buy one of those car um phone holders because i want to pop my camera up here on my dashboard so that way i can talk to you guys and drive at the same time because i can't exactly drive and hold the camera like this my windows aren't tinted so the cops are gonna see me and they're gonna be like Bitch, pull over, you're driving and you're using a camera. That's a $500 fine. It's probably more than that because Australia is expensive. But yeah, see you guys. I'm quite annoyed at the moment because the reserve is closed. Like I said, I wanted to go to Lincoln's Rock, but there's a sign behind me that says, um, I probably can't read it, but it says no entry authorized personnel only reserve closed. Lincoln's Rock Reserve is temporarily closed as a result of bushfire unauthorized access prohibited. Um, there is a penalty of a thousand dollars, one hundred. Like, oh, I'm not paying that much. What am I gonna do today? I really wanted to go hiking and I really wanted to go there specifically. I can't go in illegally because I don't want to get caught. <laughs> I'm not that determined. Far out, I have to go and find somewhere else to go then. If you look behind me, I don't know if it's too bright or anything, but the bushes are burnt, like they're all black. They've been caught on fire, it's horrible. It's a really nice day today though. It's supposed to storm apparently. Yeah, it's supposed to storm, but it's so hot. Like I'm sweating my ass off driving in the car right now. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to go hiking. I'm so sad. Like, I'm determined to do something fun today. I might just go to Blue Mountains and do some kind of waterfall walk or something. Something fun. We'll see. Currently driving. I'm getting sunburnt in the car. These are the trees that are burnt. Oh, I can see why they closed it down. It's so bad, the bushfire. I saw a dead kangaroo on the way here as well. But yeah, I'm going to a waterfall. Um, it's near Mini Minnehaha Road intersection of 5th Street or 5th Drive. I'll show you guys when I get there. Look at these black cockatoos. Oh, my camera's not picking it up, but they look so funny. Hey guys, I just got here. Parked my car on the side. Um, this is the first time I've been here and I don't know if I'm going the right place. So, wish me luck. I'm not really good at directions either, but so exciting going hiking by myself like I've never done this and like driving my car here was awesome so I've got like a little map here behind me and it says two falls I've got my swimmers in my bag so I can't wait to go in and I got my jacket with me as well but it's just so hot my abs are poking out all my hard work at gym is paying off guys but yeah so far, looks like I'm headed the right way. I can hear something, but it sounds like sewage tanks or something. I don't know what it is. I hope you guys don't um, do what I do. Like, I wouldn't recommend you guys going hiking alone. Definitely go with a friend to be on the safe side because you don't know who's out there and stuff such a really nice day it was supposed to like storm like severe thunderstorm it so it doesn't like look like it's gonna storm I really love nature if you hang around me you know like I love doing these types of walks bush walking and stuff I feel like it's amazing I'm just gonna put my jacket in my bag because it's getting annoying carrying this around and I'm using my new Nike bag I did in my haul video so yeah Oh my god, how awesome! That mini waterfall back there is so freaking cute. Like, that waterfall actually leads to the bigger one because I can hear it going down south. So I'm heading down there right now um, and I'm going to go for a dip in the pool 
I mean in the um, river, whatever it's called, the pool, what am I thinking? I'm in the outback, like where am I getting a swimming pool from? Oh wow, there's like a fork in the road. I hate these types of questions. If you were stuck in this intersection thing here, which road would you take? That road or that road? Let's go the, <laughs> this way because I can see a sign there. There's a little picture of people walking. So I guess that's the walking trail. Or could be to the toilets. I don't know. There's also like stairways walking down. Let's explore since we're here already. Guys, this place is amazing. I feel so calm and collected and like, I don't know, I just, I love doing this sort of walk and the sound of the water. I just feel like jumping in, especially in that little area there. It just looks like a little private swim for me. Um, maybe on the way back, I'll just come and have a dip by myself and um, see where I go, because I don't know who else is around. Um, I saw a few cars parked around mine, so there should be a lot of people where the waterfall is, so yeah. So earlier I went down there and I saw the mini waterfall. We're gonna go this way. So while I'm walking, um pretty tired. Usually I don't do a lot of cardio. It's the most cardio I've ever done in my life. Because someone skinny like me doesn't need cardio. It makes your metabolism a lot faster. It's not like mine's not fast enough already. Let's just give you guys an update of how things are at the moment. Oh, I see a sign over there. I can't read it though because I'm short-sighted. But um, it says, oh, it says to the falls. Amazing. Um, I want to like let you guys know that um, I'm really happy where I am at the moment in life. At work. I'm just happy with everyone I work with compared to where I used to work. And everyone's so nice. There's something on the sign though. So it says to the falls, and then you've got four hazard cliff. Be careful when you go to these heights and always wear the proper gear. I've seen people go hiking in thongs, I don't know how they do it, especially when I went to the figure eight pool. The rocks are really slippery and they've got the mold on it, so you really need to have the proper gear. You could risk wearing the thongs and stuff, like flip-flops or whatever, um, but you risk a huge injury. Like, you know, I would never want to do that. Like if I break a leg and I can't ever walk again, I'd be really upset and I'd be so sad that I won't be able to go to the gym and stuff like that. Like, you know, one small incident could lead to something really big. So yeah, oh, so hot. Um, yeah, I'm really happy where I am right now at work and everyone that I work with is so nice and so helpful and I've never been in a work environment like that before and I really like it. I feel really appreciated with who I work with and I like the job as well. I come to work super early all the time and I get right into it. Um, and I'm really happy with how things are as well with my relationship with my boyfriend. Um, we've been together for like nine years now and like I know nine years is so long and we should be married by now but honestly marriage isn't something that I'm looking forward to at the moment I don't want to have a wedding, it's too expensive and we're just looking to buy a house and stuff maybe when um, our incomes go a bit higher we'll do that but yeah that's just a little update I'm gonna like get a, get a bottle of water out of my bag and have a drink because like it is really really hot I'm wearing my Estee Lauder foundation as well I really love the way it wears on my skin it just sit so nicely even if I sweat a lot especially around my nose and on my eyebrows and it doesn't come off so that's what I like about it you guys should really try it but yeah I'm gonna go oh my god I drank so much water that I feel like I need to pee um it's been like I think 
20 minutes into the walk. I just remembered I brought an apple with me, so. Mm -mm -mm. I'd be so freaked out if there was a fucking snake in the bush. Like, I'd freeze to death. Like, <laughs> oh my god, like, it would be scary if it was in one of these trees. But at least I found a different way instead of walking through the water. Let's just hope that there's no snakes and spiders. I can tell you guys that there's heaps of flies. It's annoying the crap out of me right now, but I can do it with that. If it's not a snake, it's not a problem. Guys, it's so beautiful here. Look at the background. Um, I can't capture it, but there's a little mini waterfall behind me. It's so hot. I thought I was sweating. I just like bumped into three girls while I was at the lookout point back there. It was so kind. I love these hikes. Everyone is so nice. And you know what they say about not talking to strangers. Some people are just really nice to talk to. Right now I'm walking down a couple of rock stairs while I'm talking to you guys. It is so tiring doing this. I can hear them in the background as well. But I'll probably catch, they'll probably catch up to me because I'm ahead of them right now. Might make some new friends. They don't look like they're from Australia. They kind of sound like they're European women, like Russian. But I'm um, excited to get to the waterfall and hopefully make some new friends down there as well. I'll let you guys go now because this hike is getting quite tiring and it's not hard. I wouldn't say that the track is hard, it's just there's a lot of steps to take and a lot of rocks and you've got to be so careful. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a little waterfall there. It's actually quite big and it's going down that way. So that's where I'm heading right now. How cute. I just noticed there's like little stone steps. Stairway. Alright, camera off. I gotta like focus on how, on how I'm going to get down otherwise I'm going to like break my leg. I don't think the camera can pick up how freaking high I am but it's so scary and the waterfall is so pretty. I can't wait to get down there. I'm definitely going for a dip in the pool. I'm in the waterfall thing my bobs if I can get down there. <laughs> Wow, this place is so beautiful. I can't get over it. Amazing. These stairs are so steep. Wow. I can't wait to get down. Um, I'm kind of scared because like, if I do break a leg, I've got to wait for those other people to come down and save me, but wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm like freaking stuck. I'm trying to find myself down. But the thing is, I'm trying to think of how to get down because if I go down here, I have no idea how to get up. So I'm pretty sure there's another way. I haven't heard anyone else come this way. I think I'm going the wrong way, but I can definitely see the water down there. I might have to go back up to where I came from and go and find another way because this one is too dangerous and I'm by myself so I don't really have anyone to help me out if I'm stuck and there's people on the other side as well so I don't know how they got there I just gotta find
find another way. But yeah, um, for now I'm going to keep the camera off because for my own safety, like I'm going to try and climb back up and get my way around the waterfall somehow. Oh my god, I got lost but I finally made it! How awesome is this place? Wow, look at that! I finally got here. I'm going to go for a dip. Oh my god. It is so freaking cold. I don't even know how deep the water is, but I'm just too scared to go in. <laughs> it's cold. I want to get to the other side as well, but it's so cold. Ugh. I'm just gonna sit in here and like try and warm my body up, and then when I feel like I'm warm enough, then I'll get in. Like I actually want to go to the other side. I want to be under the waterfall, like there. But the water is seriously cold and I don't have enough fat to warm my body up. I'm so tired. Climbing up to go back is a lot more tiring than going down to go to, go to the waterfall. I didn't end up dipping my whole body and it was so fucking cold. The water was freezing cold. And I know that if I was with my boyfriend, I would actually jump in because he would make me because he'd be like, why did you go all the way here and not jump in? But it was really, really cold. My hands are just going back to its normal color. It's so pale right now. Oh, and I've got my um, Australis lip lipstick thing. Just had to touch up because uh, oh, I can't even talk. I'm so tired. Just had to touch up because my lipstick came off um, after hopping into the um, the water. I'm gonna go back now. I'm so tired. Might go to another hike or head home. Depends on how I feel. But the weather's so nice. I might just go somewhere else. And I need to really dry my body up. I gotta go back up these flight upstairs. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. So I didn't end up going to another hike, which would have been amazing because the weather hasn't changed since I left the um, waterfall. Um, I just felt like my legs need a break. I went to the gym and I'm so sore. So like, oh my God, if I had to go on another hike, I think I, think I need a walking stick, seriously, because yeah, there was no way I could like walk tomorrow to work. I'm going to go wash my car, so yeah, let's go and do that because it needs a wash. Um, and it also needs a vacuum, so let's grab my Dyson. Hey everyone, welcome to my home. Let's go in and um, get my shit ready. Ah, carry my vacuum. Hey baby. It's my garage, it's pretty messy. It's typical, typical Asian mess. We, we have a lot of stuff in the garage that we don't need but my parents don't want to throw away. So I just want to say thanks for watching my vlog. It was fun hiking. I'm going to leave it at this for now and I will do some more vlogs for you. I will go on more hiking adventures. I've got so much things on my bucket list to do. I can't wait to show you guys what, um, like where I'll be going and how beautiful Australia is and it's not how Americans think it is, like bugs everywhere, kangaroos in the backyard, pet koalas, it's not like that guys. But yeah, I'm excited and I will um, let you guys know if I'm going on any further hikes. See ya!